Hey guys, Lord Naron White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Elden Ring playthrough. Today, continuing Elden Ring. Hmm. Here's the lever. We can just run past everything. We've already fought this one time, so... So, okay, ran past everything. We need to activate a stone sword key. Not good. How does this guy make it up here? Wow. Okay, um, that's not good. That makes it very much, you know, important that we actually fight our way back here. Um, we will equip our sacrificial twig one more time, and hopefully this will be the last time we will need this sacrificial twig. I think I need to be a bit more aggressive here.
Maybe not. I just think I'm being a bit impatient. I was being a bit impatient there. I would say that the right thing to do from here would be to um, just equip this. And now, since we need uh, 7,000 more souls, the right thing to do is just go farm it at 4th for off. Not mess around, let's just get this level done. Uh, I cannot travel from the graveyard, so we gotta climb up here. No problem. And now we can travel to Fort Faroth. This place really isn't too hard, I've just been messing around. And I think now that we started, we may as well look to complete the place, so. so let's quickly farm this circuit once, and we should have the souls required. Nothing new to us, we're veterans of the Fort Faroth farm. Alright, yeah. Been here quite a few times. Alright. Uh, that's it. I can level here and uh, really need to complete this uh, this bush successfully, right? There's nothing super complicated about this place so far, so there's no reason for me to be me to be dying. We have 50 strength, I mean, do we need more vigor? I'm not sure we need more than 40 vigor for now. Um, I think we'll just continue to push strength. Getting a strength weapon would be really good, of course. That's something we should definitely keep a look at, just because that's been our playstyle pretty much. And our trusted heater shield, of course. I think it's a brass shield, though, so yeah. What can we do from here? Well,
I need to be just to be able to beat this guy, right? done that big lightning power up almost got us man 40 vigor for the win right yeah for real that was almost another run ender there i mean honestly i got lucky for sure but it's okay and now we need to not mess it up on some trap you know take it seriously there's gonna be a guy here after we watch avoid that trap that's that and now after we get the stone sword key we're looking at lightning scorpion charm so what is that? Okay, no worries. We don't really benefit much from this. So. But a good use of a stone sword key nonetheless. I don't know if I've gone the right way or not, to tell the truth. But one real way to find out, I guess. That's all the way back at the beginning. We can choose to warp back there if we want. Or we can try and explore the other side of this. I'm a, I'm a fan of trying to explore the other side for sure. That's it. There's nothing else here. So let's, get, let's go back to the beginning. Uh oh. What's wrong? Cannot travel to a site of grace from this location. Alright. What is this? Just gotta walk back, no worries. Everything cleared out, hasn't been too difficult for us. I mean, we're super overpowered for this area, so it shouldn't be too hard. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. May as well rest at the uh I think we would do well to rest actually. I mean I really don't see a reason why we wouldn't want to rest. Considering we're just right here, we may as well rest. And my my elixir is quite good, my flask. I didn't think I would get this high like without having to look at a guide, but I'm 10-5, so pretty good. 
And here we are, the door has opened and leading us to this fog door. So, here we go. What will we find? I mean, just like, truly terrible. I didn't learn that fight at all. But it's what it is, man. I didn't learn that fight at all. But we just, you know, we got it done. So in the Civil War, they teach you in, in, uh, in the United States school system about, you know, Robert E. Lee and the Confederacy and Ulysses S. North, uh, Ulysses S. Grant and the Union. And um, so basically, you know, Lee was the superior commander, but Grant... Not only did they have a very capable team of commanding, but they also had a significant advantage in terms of eco economy and especially number of soldiers. And their soldiers would have a little bit better provisions, I believe, as well. So Grant had the bodies, and that's exactly what I was reminded of. Like, I just didn't have, like, any skill, but I knew that I had, like, a superior health bar. And so I just kept pushing, and we got it. That horrible fight. But that was Wyndham Catacombs, and that sure was a lot of fun, so... Good stuff there. Um, I'm looking at it now, like, I don't think we're actually supposed to make it any further here. Like, if you look around, there's just a wall that's walling us off now. So, there is a place to go down there, which would be pretty cool. I think we should actually explore there. So, before we head out of this area, I said we explore that place over there. And it was really cool to make it over to Wyndham Catacombs. This was a really cool place to have, you know, just explore. I just want to see if there's any other kind of loot around here. Those are pretty cheap souls too. Just like the Fort Froth farm. Pretty, uh... Ah, this is a stone sword key door. And I have one. Excellent. So let us see what loot we get. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. And I am stuck in this animation right now. Uh,
Okay. That takes care of that. Let's hope it's not a trap. It's not. Pearl Drake Talisman. Greatly boosts non-physical damage negation. That's actually pretty good for me, considering I already have a 100% physical damage shield. That's a pretty dangerous combination for me. I don't know if it was the best use of a stone sword key or what, but it was, a uh, you know, it's something. Anyways, this area is good, so we should head over, to, if we want to unlock the map for the last area, we should head over to the Bridge of Iniquity and actually take the correct path now. Right, so it says just go that way, right? So, I don't know if we can walk up this ledge or what, but yeah. And can we? No. No, we surely can't, so. I believe the other path is like somewhere up this way. Just follow the path up north, uh, northeast. We got an Ontario leaf. Will that be good for? I don't know. Blood rose. So this looks to be where we go. Definitely, right? I mean, how else do we get up there? I don't really see that being possible. So we got this light of grace now. Golden runes always good, man. It's not many runes at this point in the game, but it it makes you you know feel good. That place would have been cool to explore, but it doesn't look like an integral part of the game. It seems like we can just skip it, so... Not good. These guys are really quite strong.
There's this white fang one that was super, super tough. We're too far south of the path, so that's not good. But what have we found here? Man, this game is crazy. Everything is like so densely packed. I mean, from the exploration in Elden Ring, I totally see why it's one game of the year. You know, like, we're just randomly looking for some Light of Grace. And now we found the Wyndham Catacombs and the second place. And there it is. There's that Light of Grace for this, you know, catacombed area here. Gelmar's Hero's Grave. Don't know what we're doing here. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what's down here. Well, one way to find out though, as they say, right? Not good. You know, I'm not per super particularly interested in this area, neither. So I think I'll just recover the souls and get out of here for now. It looks cool, but I think I'll come back to it. And of course, from one of these areas, like, just like the Einsel River, well, you can't travel out of here, right? So... And boy, was that area fun too, thinking I've had it, right? A lot of amazing areas around here. And that's where I'll go ahead and end the video there for this week. With that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.